Now, how many of you have found yourself in a situation where occasionally you simply forgot your Windows logon password or you're working with an elderly parent and they have forgotten their password and of course you didn't know what it was and now you're trying to help them get into their PC or laptop because of a lot of good reasons. You need to access their data, their, their information, their applications. Sometimes individuals give you a laptop or a desktop and you really need that the resources on those and you don't know what the password is and the person who gives it to you doesn't of course know what the password is. So we need a way to get into Windows operating systems when they're actually our possession, but we can't get it through the login. How do we get past this login screen without losing the operating system and starting all over? The good news is there is ways of getting past the Windows logon even without knowing the password. I'm going to show you one method that most people can do that will get you past this logon problem. Let's get started and let me show you how we can get past the Windows logon and let me explain the steps that we're going to take and the difficulty of each of those steps so you can decide whether you want to tackle this project or not. Okay, Mr. Vanderpool, what do I need in order to break into Windows without a Windows password? Well, you need a working computer. You need at least an 8 gig USB flash drive and you need access to the internet. Now, you need to think about this because if the computer that we're trying to break into is the only computer you have, you're going to have to get some help from someone you know who can help you, allow you to use a working computer, go purchase an 8 gig flash drive, USB flash drive, and maybe use their internet. This only takes a very short amount of time. You don't have to use their resources or their computer very long, but you have to have this in order for us to go to the next step. How difficult is it to break into the Windows operating system without a password? Well, there's a couple steps. We've got to download some software, and that's usually, I would say, on a scale of 1 to 10, maybe 1 to 2 in difficulty. Creating a bootable flash drive, probably a difficulty of 3. But if you can follow steps and you've done software, it's not that hard. Booting my laptop and desktop to this flash drive. Now, that's probably the most challenging part of this whole operation because every laptop can be different, every desktop can be different. So that's the challenging part, but I'm going to help you with that. That's where I'm gonna help you the most. And then we're gonna run the password cracking software, create a new password, reboot, and you're in. We're going to start this project by downloading two software packages. One is an operating system called Hirens. This operating system has been around for years. I've used it as an IT professional to help solve problems on computers. We're also going to download a software package that's going to create a bootable flash drive. And that tool is called Rufus. So we're going to go to two websites, download two software packages, and I'll show you what we're going to do with each. Now launch a browser and you want to go to Hirens. Just type in in the Google search Hirens and you'll see Hirens Boot CD PE. Now let's go over and click on the link, that, the Google search link, and it takes us to Hirens Boot CD PE webpage. We're going to come up to the main menu where it says download and click on that and we'll close that and we'll scroll down here and you can see it explains a lot about what is on this operating system and just keep coming down as you get to the hbcd dash underscore pe times 64 iso so you notice that the link turns a, a slightly different color that is the link that allows us to download the iso this is the file that we want and this is going to contain an operating system so we're going to go ahead and click that and you'll notice my browser shows me it's downloading. It's very important that you know where this 
file is going to your computer. In most cases, it's going to go to a folder called your download folder. If I go down to Explorer and I open Explorer, I'm going to go to my downloads folder. I should be able to see this file, hbcd underscore pe underscore time 64. This is the software that we want downloading down into my downloads folder. Now this is a large file. It takes a while to download. So be patient. And when you're done, you should see in your downloads folder, hbcd underscore pe underscore time 64 dot iso. So that's what you should see in your downloads folder. Next, go to Google and just type Rufus and you'll see Rufus create bootable USB drives the easy way. And we're going to, once we see those search links, we're going to create, we're going to click those links and it's going to take us to the Rufus software site. We're just going to come down and we're going to download the portable Rufus 3. Point whatever version you see on your web page. You're going to click the portable. So let's click those. And we're going to say, I don't want that. And hopefully it starts to download. So we'll go back to our download folder. And we should see, there it is, Rufus. In my case, it's the version 3.19. P is in portable.exe. Now take your flash drive and insert it into a USB jack on your computer. Now hopefully at this point you've got the Rufus software that's going to create your flash drive in your downloads folder and you have the Hirons ISO file that's your operating system in the same directory. So let's right mouse click Rufus. I'm going to right mouse click run as administrator. Say yes and it will launch the software. Notice this software that builds my USB flash drive recognizes a USB flash drive on my computer and it's in drive I. So the operating system has given that flash drive the drive letter I. It also has indicated how large that flash drive is. And in my case, it's a 64 gig. Be very careful. Make sure this is the flash drive that you put in. Then what we're going to do is select the ISO and that's going to be the Hirons file that we just downloaded. So I'm going to go select and I'm going to make sure that I go back to my downloads folder, find my Hirons file, the ISO file. I'm going to click on that and say open. And most everything else that shows up on this screen is going to be okay. In other words, this software is smart enough to look at that ISO file that we selected and choose all the proper components that you need in this entire software package to go ahead and start and creating it. So all I needed to do was launch the software, go ahead and help it find the ISO file that it needs to install on the flash drive, which we did, and then go ahead and start. So we're going to go say, hey, go ahead and begin the process of taking that file that's in Hirons and moving it over onto the USB flash drive. So now we're just going to wait. It's going to warn us that we're going to format that flash drive. So we say yes. And we have a status down here that's showing us what's going on. And notice it popped up so I can see what's going on with the flash drive. And we'll click back on it so we can watch what's going on with the Rufus software. And it's now copying that ISO file to our flash drive. And now we're complete. We see that our status, it's ready to go. The flash drive is ready now to boot our Windows laptop or our Windows desktop. So now this is the toughest part, is trying to determine for your laptop or your desktop, what key do I press during the, as it's powering up? What key do I press to give me a boot option? Do I want to boot from the hard drive or do I want to boot from my flash drive that I've plugged in to that laptop or PC? This is where Google can really help. So let's say you have a Dell. We're going to type in Dell boot menu 
keystroke and hit enter. So Google looks for web pages that might help us in determining what key to press during the boot process that will give us that boot menu option. And it says here F12. If you've got a Dell, that's probably where you want to start. Let's say you have an HP. We can just change this. Same thing. Go look and it says some you hit the escape key, some F9. You can try either one to see if you can get that boot menu option. So what you're seeing right now is I've booted this PC into the higher ends operating system. My flash drive is plugged in to the USB jack and I chose the boot order keystroke to say don't boot to the hard drive, boot to my flash drive. So let's look at that and let's see how that works. As I did the research on my PC, I found that F11 was the boot order keystroke that allowed me to choose to boot to my flash drive over there rather than the hard drive. So I'm going to go ahead and power on and I'm going to be tapping F11. I'm just tapping the key as it boots up. And there's my boot option menu. So here the boot option menu comes up on the screen. I can boot to my hard drive, but I want to slide down till it says USB disk 3.0, which is the USB drive that I've created with Hirens. That's what I want it to boot on. Once I've selected that, I'm going to hit enter and it's going to boot to the Hirens flash drive. If you do this, and you select your USB flash drive and it ignores it. It keeps booting into Windows. We may have to go into the setup and turn off secure boot. Now we're seeing the rolling wheel on the screen indicating and I can look at my flash drive and see that the light is flashing. There's Hirens booting up my PC. And this is what I want. Now we have figured out how to boot our PC to our flash drive and we're ready to get started cracking the password that we don't know. Now notice on my PC, John is clearly identified. So he is the username. We don't know what the password is. If your PC that we're dealing with doesn't have a username or doesn't show the username and you don't know what the username or the password is, then we're going to have to take extra steps when we get ready to crack these passwords. But in this case, John is the guy that I want to crack and we're going to go after him. Let's go ahead and restart our computer. This time we're going to boot off our USB drive. So the, you're going to hit those keystrokes so that it boots to the USB hard drive and it's going to boot into Hirens. And let Hirens do its thing. It's doing a number of things to get ready so that we can use it. And it's asking us, do we want an, an IP address? You may say yes or no. I'm going to say OK and let it go ahead and pull an IP address. That's not important. And then I'm going to come down to the start menu, go to programs, go to security and go to passwords. And then we're going to go to anti passwords edit. Now it's pretty smart. It pretty well knows what you're trying to do here with this software. And so it's already found what is known as the SAM file, the security accounts manager file. So all it needs you to do is open it. And here are all the users on this laptop or desktop. Now, John is the guy I want to crack. So I'm going to click on him and I'm going to go ahead and change his password. Now I've typed in my password, hit OK. Now, very important, make sure you save the changes and then exit out. Now we're going to go ahead and shut down Hirens. We don't need it anymore. And then you can reboot your computer, take the flash drive out and reboot it just like you normally booted it up. Now we're going to type in our new password. And we're in the operating system. You just successfully broke into Windows. OK, Mr. Vanderpool, it didn't work out like you're showing in this video. Well, first of all, let me give you a couple words of advice. Number one, you have the video link in the description. Download that and review that. I've got lots of great step by step, many additional helps that can help you 
if what I demonstrated isn't working exactly the way you need. Another important thing is to get a friend to come over and step by step walk through this with you because two heads are better than one. Also, as you're working with your computer, I've demonstrated my computers, which are not gonna look like yours. If you're watching me right now, you're the very person we're attempting to reach with our channel. People with a real interest to learn technical topics and skills. Because our content is free on YouTube and our audience is a relatively small group of viewers, if any of this material is helpful to you, we would appreciate your support. You can support the channel as simple as liking a video. Hit that like button because it helps others like you find our content. You can subscribe, it's an effective way of supporting us. And if you can, if you're able, you can become a member of the channel. It's $2.99 a month, less than a cup of coffee. And we really want your comments and feedback on any video we produce. And thank you for supporting Tech Savvy Productions.